hello pile number one and welcome or welcome back to my channel today we are doing this beautiful reading we are going to talk about eclipse energies messages from your spirit guides and not only i hear soul purpose soul purpose so we are going to bring in information about your soul purpose pile number one <sighs> this will feel like a sacred ceremony really i'm going to channel here slash read for a shaman believe it or not even if you are not aware of not you are a shaman and it's about the time to find out what your mission is on this planet at this moment in time not everything will be revealed to you because you are not meant to know everything in this moment as of now so that's being said that being said let's begin i hear drumming there is a lot of drumming so i'm going to pull your cards while some sort of a shamanic spirit is drumming here okay let's begin She-Wolf of the South, number 36. Okay. Second Sight. Ezem, number 28. Okay. Infinity. Reflecting my center of fire. Wow. Powerful. Okay. Number 22, Fairy in Cap Subtlety. Defense Balance, number 2. So you have 2 to 2, you see. I'm going to put here one next to each other. I don't know what I'm going to do with this space over there, but we will see as we're moving forward. Oh, okay. Quest, throat chakra. Perception, heart chakra. Challenges. 
all true soul connections involve challenges that can be overcome together. The Creator. Play, have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. The Tower. Looks like Lord of the Rings Tower. <laughs> okay. Let's begin. Pile number one. Let's see. Let's see what's your message here. Your world is changing. Your perception is changing over a situation, but it feels larger than that. It feels perception over life, over your environment, over Okay, so your body is changing from the carbon struct structure to crystalline. And while this process is taking place, you, my friend, your perception over all that is, is changing. You can see the world with brand new eyes. Literally and metaphorically. Someone here, you might receive or the clairvoyant part of you is getting activated, the tower. If you are already clairvoyant, that part of you, this gift is intensifying. You might resonate with being struck by, by lightning in one way or another, being electrified in one way or another here. Somehow you are walking with the spirits. Maybe the ostrich, o ostrich, that's how you call this bird, spirit is very important for you this time around, or maybe is your spirit animal, totem, totem, totem animal or power animal. You might see Ostrich, the bird, in any way, shape or form, multiple times over the next week, or over the next period to come, over the next week in particular. You see the third eye chakra is being super emphasized here in your reading. I never put this eye here, but I really felt I wanted to put it here today. So there is definitely something here with... Um, the crystalline structure of your being, purifying you, purifying your body, purification of your body is, all your body is happening, and your psychic sense is being super activated. You might resonate with being a shaman. Now, Let's talk about your soul, soul purpose for a minute here. It was hidden from you for far too long. But that was for a reason. You see, so far it feels like you weren't a very good friend with your shadows or there was a process, you were in a process of accepting your shadows, of accepting your past, and the past means different things for every each one of you. But now you see 
the future and the past, they are meeting in the present moment and they are at peace. Don't overthink anything that's happening these days or what's about to happen. Nothing has power over you, my friend. You are such a very powerful soul and you know that. There is also an activation of the solar plexus chakra happening or coming in the near future for you. The fire, your inner fire will be reflected through your eyes. People will see you shape-shifting. People will see you shape-shifting. And some of them, some of them, they will be in awe of your transformation. Now, many, maybe they will not tell you anything about what they see, but many will feel the transformation you are going through. Many fear or will fear what you are about to become. There is a fearlessness about you, pile number one, and that's absolutely pristine and beautiful. You see, pile number one, you are a priestess slash one of the priestesses of the new earth. You are all-knowing. And yes, yes, I know how this sounds. The real question here is, did you find anyone that has all the good questions because you do have all the answers? Is what Spirit is saying here. You see, you are like a mushroom, like a magic mushroom journey incarnated on planet Earth. It is hard for the human mind to comprehend what, what you embody what, and what you, what the definition of you is. It is like you take people on a quest, you take people on a journey. You can see so profound in people. Pile number one. You can see so, so profound in people that probably maybe that's why some are afraid slash scared or they will be a little bit of you. Even again, maybe they won't put words to those feelings. There are not many of you slash there are many of you. What do we mean by this statement? There are not many of you, old souls, that have reached this destination in this lifetime. There are many of you on this planet that they yet have to awaken and to wake up to the power of their soul, you see. And that's why you are considered a special one, because you are special when there are literally not many like you around you, right? It, it's logical. It makes sense. You are invited here to play. Play with this new self. Play with what's coming towards you. Don't be afraid of being too much, you know, or uh, not enough. Allow yourself to walk on this spectrum for a while until you realize, recognize, understand the new you and the power that lies within you. You see, many people will want a piece of you and many people will want something from you. Your wisdom, the way you see things. Don't sell yourself short. You have so much to give to humanity, to yourself, and to others that are not in human form yet, but they will be. Now, what is this challenges card doing here? I pulled it from... Um, soul connections so it's like a it's a love deck and i felt a love 
slash romance vibe before starting your reading. Some of you are in a connection at the moment. A true soulmate is approaching you. Though. Okay, what? Let me see. Okay. It is like there are two channels inside of you, pile number one. What is this? Okay. It is like there are two channels inside of you at the moment. And there is a transformation here taking place inside of this connection. Well, the transformation ref reflects over, over your being, yourself, your first house, if you will. But also it takes place for or in this connection. Because you either you are doubting this connection or you are doubting yourself. There is a doubt here. There are two channels here within you. What is this? What is this? This second channel talks about memories of the past, um, unfinished businesses, um, your shadow self, you see this black wolf here, your shadow self, um, things you need to let go of, things you need to probably fear around relationships or doubt or... Um, You see, pile number one, what I feel about this connection that you find yourself in is, it, is that it's a pristine one, a beautiful one. And there are all these forces of the darkness trying to get into your mind, my friend. And the thing is, they have this channel, these channels in your brain where they can attach to. And then in those situations, probably you reacted like an ostrich here and you put your hand, your head in the sand and pretend you don't see, you don't hear, you don't want to deal with it. But now you are just basically confronting it. There is no, you are eliminating the second channel here. Pile number one. I wanted to call you pile number two. Maybe there is something in pile number two for you. I'm seeing you have a lot of twos here in your reading. Two, two, two. Partnership, right? And this partnership is very important, you see. It's a very beautiful partnership, but somehow you both are together for humankind also. Why? There is so much more to say here and probably we are going to say it in a future love reading, reading is what they say. Pile number one. Time is short today. What you must know is that this second channel is being burned and purified. And you are going to re reborn like a phoenix out of it. I'm seeing a volcano here on the horizon in this card to challenges, but this volcano, it feels like, it feels peaceful. <clears throat> there is no eruption there. You see, you have this creator, this creator card here. So, okay. So with this volcano, being so peaceful, it feels like you are at the end of a, of, a, of a soul lesson or of a soul cycle. And that's why there is no eruption left here. You are completing a soul cycle here. Pile number one, my friend. Beautiful, profound, powerful. Okay. You are becoming someone else here. This is a powerful transformation with this uh, solar eclipse energy. And not only. Many things here are being revealed to you will be revealed to you about self, about a new self, about who you are about to become, about your soul purpose, about a connection. But also here with the creator, what the guides are saying, it is like you have a specific path.
you see you are so focused it's like now after this purification after the closing of this second channel that created a lot of self-doubt it feels also like this connection of yours plus your soul mission your soul purpose they are one and the same they are somehow coming together in one lane And I keep hearing predestined, predestined to be, predestined to happen. You know that song? Nobody want to see us together. This is what I feel about you and your person here. Is this maybe a connection that can come in the future for those of you that are single? Singles. I hear very precisely, you see, no. It is only for this part, this part, not the whole reading, the part with the connection. It is for a few selected of you watching that you are in a connection at this moment in time, right now. Others of you, maybe you want to watch pile number two. Probably the singles, singles, I don't know, maybe pile number two is all about love. I'm not sure yet. I didn't... Um, um pull that energy in to see what that's about but probably who knows you are here to you are here to help others my friend i don't know if you realize this so far maybe this is this sounds like gibberish to some of you i don't know but you are here to help others. You are here to dance a new dance. You are here to show people how to make love with life again. You are here. Maybe some, someone here, you will become a Tantra master. What do I know? But definitely, uh, yes, Spirit says yes. So someone here will become a Tantric teacher of sorts. What else am I seeing? <laughs> we have 2.22 and now the time is, uh, the timer shows me 22 minutes and 44 seconds. Isn't that interesting? So you might see a lot of 2.22, in the near future or around a very specific important event is what they are saying. powerful energies for you also very emphasized right how i didn't i didn't um see this so far we have three wolves in your reading only three yeah only three we have three wolves in your reading and so a wolf might be very specific for someone here or it is a spirit animal that's coming into your reality very soon also owl the ostrich, what else? There is also something here about plant medicine or mushroom um, drinks. I know there are so many drinks out of mushrooms made these days, so maybe you are being called towards that. Somehow drinking mushroom plant um you know you, again you can find organic drinks that contain these beautiful mushrooms on the market mar market these days um and they are very healthy right that's what they say somehow they will help you with healing and with um recovering uncovering parts of yourself in the end, I hear, expect the unexpected, my friend. Something very beautiful here is about to be revealed to you. So be prepared one of these days to get a vision with what's to come. Or to watch that vision on television. Thank you very much for being here.
pile number one. And see you in my next one. Bye-bye. Hello, pile number two, and welcome to my channel. Let's begin your reading. Reading around eclipse energies, messages from your spirit guides, around solar plexus energies is what I see here for you. There is a psychic surgery happen happening over there for you during this reading and not only, okay? Your first card is Morel Restore, number 12. Wow, so beautiful. Reishi, spirit medicine, number one. Oh, gorgeous card. One, one, two. Angel number one, one, two of significance. 34. Bleeding tooth, stagnation. Don't fear stagnation is what I hear. Always when I see this mushroom, reminds me of some sort of a disease. But don't panic, pile number two. Let's take it step by step, okay? Being very pulled towards work your light. So I'm being um, tempted to say angelic energies are around you. Get grounded, empaths, highly sensitives. Connect with nature, okay? The initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. Mm -hmm. an, an initiation is happening, pile number two, and you are asked to pause. Is what I'm getting. To rest and relax and rejuvenate. Yeah. Apocalypsis. Oh my God. A very huge um, cycle here is coming to an end or some sort of an end but not only for you my friend it feels worldwide it feels huge it feel it feels worldwide indeed um, let's put some animals spider Shark. Eagle. Deer. Okay. Environment. Five of Pentacles. The Empress. Interesting. Five of Pentacles and the Empress, huh? Okay, let's see. What is your message? Pile number two. Mm, phallus energy, um, right off the bat, super strong sexual energy. What is this about? Ooh. Restoration. There is a restoration of the creative juices here for you pile number two restoration recovery yeah recovery restoration creative juices initiation interesting you are undergoing at the moment my friend a very slow moving process around the healing but it's more than it's not a healing actually again it's an initiation around your sacral chakra 
and there is so much creativity happening there coming to life a new beginning number one coming to life now I'm getting a very specific and very strange message so <laughs> I have to say it right if it came through I have to say it. someone here has some sort of an infection or some sort of a disease I don't know maybe some um, weird spots around your sacral area and you might want to go see a doctor it is nothing serious is what I hear but you need to see a doctor in order to recover fully once and for all is what I hear this disease or this imbalance of sorts is coming from it's related to the root chakra it's related to the past it's related to some sort of a blockage of a deer but it is reflecting in your sacral my friend but once you go and see a doctor that's go coming to an end apocalypse it's coming to an end and boom oh yeah, wow it's coming to an end and guess what uh, that's why i felt it's for the world at large because then whoever you are watching this pile you will either start making babies or creating something you either make babies or you create something right sacral that is for the world that is a new creation you are making here a new creation for the world you put that in the environment for everyone else to see so either it's a human or it's a business of sorts a creation what do i know a project that will be seen something that will be seen with the deer here the cycle shall not be repeated with this five of pentacles whatever fears you have of creation they must remain of the past past shall not be repeated somehow you have the empress twice energetically or yeah energetically i feel this environment has empress energy and you have the empress right here you see and with the eagle i have i feel emperor energy yeah you see this element of a couple showed up in pile number one and i actually encourage some of the some of you that watched pile number one to come and watch pile number two why maybe for you singles out there maybe let me let me check is this for singles now what i'm about to say yes this is for singles what i got in pile number one was mostly for um coupled up but what i said about that couple in number one can definitely be a future scenario for you singles that are watching this you see you are being prepared to be impregnated <laughs> pile number two but again yeah, yeah there's a lot of sexual phallus energy here i'm telling you but first the cleansing has to take place of the sacral and if you are one of my followers that you watch both channels on the other channel called mark my words there is this reading i just posted for the sign of leo and it was all about cleansing clearing and healing your sacral chakra because what's about to happen will blow your mind first of all and second of all that somehow impacts the clearing and healing of your sacral and as a result of this creation will impact your solar plexus chakra and that was what i 
began with, right? Because I saw some sort of an activation. Your solar plexus chakra was very emphasized here. And you are here to be an emperor. And an emperor has a very healthy and balanced system. There is a balance between solar and sacral. You cannot move into a connection, into a relationship, if you hate women. That's how it's coming through. You need to leave that behind. And so you shall re receive here an activation of sorts, an initiation of sorts. Active, I hear activation, activation first. There is an activation first, followed by this initiation by fire which is going to happen around, around this solar eclipse through divine intervention somehow. I'm seeing someone here actually going to a shaman and this shaman is helping with the restoration of the sacral, is helping with the initiation nonetheless. If you are a man and you will impregnate your woman here, <laughs> that's how it's coming through, okay guys? You need to take care of your sacral chakra and purify it too. And understand how sacred sexual activity is. It is not for everyone. I know how it sounds. It is not for everyone. People do not take responsibility in having sex. It is not something to have fun with. It is something very sacred and very important, especially moving forward. It was dirty so far and not in the funny way. And as a result, sharks, sharks were left in your sacral. A lot of darkness with spider and all this darkness were left in your sacral, which led to some sort of a disease here, an imbalance, a disease here, which causes some sort of a stagnation. Maybe someone here, maybe, I don't know, baby, but this is what I'm getting. Someone here might have issues having babies, and this is the reason why, um, because of a lot of whatever happened in the past, and not only in your past, but also in the past of your parents, because everything is in you now, right? Whatever happened to your parents, whatever they did before you, your grandparents, whatever they did before you, everything is in your womb right now. And somehow, someone here sees feminine energy as there is a predatory instinct in men in particular, probably. And that's not how it should be. How it should be, they should feel a protective instinct, first and foremost, not a predatory instinct. But when we let go of the past and we heal the womb, we shall see clearly. We shall see clearly. And so you singles out there, you will meet your match here, the one you will impregnate. Or you will let yourself be impregnated. But I feel like I'm speaking with a man, to a man right here, in particular. <clears throat> and they cannot 
stopped emphasizing how important it is to take care of your womb and your sacral chakra at this moment in time and learn tantric sex. That's how you will populate the new earth, not in another way, not in the old way. You will give birth to Buddhas and Jesuses and Sanat Kumaras and big spirits. Big, big spirits. We are not playing here and this is very serious. There are, there are moments when we are not so serious and we can have fun. But this is about the foundation of a new world. And it's in your hands or, better said, in your wombs. So take care of yourselves. This message was, was from 144 Frequency Elohim. Thank you very much for being here and see you in my next one. Bye-bye. Hello, pile number three and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Let's begin. I, uh, right off the bat, pile number three, I hear this message is for a medicine woman slash a medicine man. You are very unique in your gifts and talents and you shall trust yourself more and more until you become one with the divine, until you become one with the channel that wants to open and grow and enlarge more and more within you. And so it is and shall it be. The heart's wisdom, listen to the call of your heart, your guide in love. Number 12. Number 12 was um, very powerful in number 2 also. Eagle totem, rise above to widen your vision. Widen your vision, widen your channel. Interesting. There is a very powerful shamanic vibe. Empowerment. Assert yourself and shine your power now. Oh my God. Do you see how it says now? Like now. Pile number three. Has to happen right now. Okay. Sacred piercing number two. Chalk number 10. Interesting. I'm getting Lemurian vibes now. Ma'at number 30. Do you see the contrast between these two? So interesting. Stories of my mother. Wow. Okay. Kairos. The Maiden. The Desert. What I felt is in reverse. 
Let's pull one more. The animal. Oh my god, all these eyes. Do you see all these eyes in your reading? Number three, angel number 122 might be of very important significance here for you. There is something here about silence in your pile. Silent, sacred. Oh, I have chills. Ooh. You see, I'm seeing these two ladies with their eyes closed. I'm also seeing this lady here, super empowered. And I hear arrogance, arrogance. Hmm, what is this? What is the message here? There will come a time when you will doubt yourself and that will be wrong. And then will come a time. There, there will come a time when we, you will not doubt yourself, and that will be right. Everything you say, everything you speak through your mouth, through your channel, it is coming straight from the mouth of God. It is coming straight from the divine. You are one and the same with the divine. My friend, pile number three. But it is almost like you have some sort of a trauma. Like you were reduced to silence. You were silenced. Your voice was taken. In this lifetime, in a past lifetime, it feels more likely this, time, this lifetime, in your past. You were... Something here traumatized you probably. Or what do I know? You are being asked to release, release that and to let go. And I keep hearing arrogance, arrogance, what an arrogance or what an arrogant. What is this? Why am I hearing this? That's your perception about empowered people at a very subconscious level, but... You have yet to find out that, that that you are about to become very soon. It is like you have someone here. There is, this is someone else in your environment, pile number three. And you look at them almost, I want to say, with a feeling of superiority. Wow, okay, I, I get it. And that's not right. But that's not wrong either. Because you don't know better. You see. There is a feeling here that whatever reduced you to silence or whatever trauma is this that you have somehow comes from your mother somehow comes from your mother. If it's not from this lifetime, or if it's not something that happened directly to you, definitely somehow you took it from your mother. The shyness. With all these eyes, I'm also getting all eyes on me, all eyes on you, pile number three. You see, you are fo focusing here on, on the heart, on your heart. And that's beautiful. That's very beautiful. But what about the empowerment? What about the, the power center? Because that's the center that puts things into motion, into action. The heart is beautiful, is open. It's lighter than a feather. 
you can see the higher perspective through a higher perspective you have eagle twice i just noticed <laughs> what are the chances i just noticed you have eagle twice you can see the higher perspective in some situations except this one there is a blind spot here in your heart in your mind better said which which will be revealed to you it's about to be revealed to you there is a part of you that reads feels into this into the empower, empowered women if you will empowered people reads that energy is almost being anim, anima, like primal animalic is that a word in English or it's Romanian only. <laughs> Animalistic. <laughs> I don't know how you say that in English. Primal, like not refined. Virgo energy here a little bit. You know how Virgos, um, they tend to be very picky. The shadow can can reflect that. A little bit criticizing. Anyways. It's coming from the mother lineage to you. The maiden, the mother here. Through this, well, I know what's coming is a solar eclipse, but I'm getting a lunar eclipse here, but we just had one of those also, right? You were initiated, there was an initiation happening here for you with the lunar eclipse, where slowly but surely, This story that what I just told you was revealed to you or is still reveal being revealed to you probably through this reading right here. You will start to enjoy having all these eyes on you. You will start to enjoy socializing more and more because you are made for it. It is like you have a mission here, pile number three. A mission, a calling of sorts. And you shall not fail, I hear. You shall not fail. And deep, deep in your heart and in the deepest of the deepest waters of your subconscious, you know this is true. But it feels like a far, far away voice that's calling you back home and you can barely hear it. And that's why you have two eagles here. One is helping you with the bigger picture. The other one is helping you with the details of the same story. So you can put everything in its place and so you can understand what happened here or what's about to happen. Okay, what else? You cannot help others if it applies. You cannot help others to your fullest potential and or their fullest potential if you yourself don't know what that is. And so you must understand 
this process of empowerment in detail first. <laughs> and then I hear, and then you'll find yourself on the stage in front of 3,000 people speaking about your life story, this process, about what you do, your soul mission, what you are here to do. And then your eyes will open. Yeah, someone here, maybe you are, your soul mission, your life purpose here is to speak about your life, a certain story, the story of your life in front of a, a big audience here to empower others. <clears throat> Anything else? Let's pull an angel card for you and end your message. Sonia, I bring you a message from your deceased loved one. I am happy, at peace, and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. Okay, let's take one more. No, conditions aren't favorable right now. Wait or look into other options and ask the angels to help guide and comfort you. Okay. Some of you are mediums. Some of you definitely are mediums. And that's why it is so important for you to be empowered. Because being empowered is what's, what's going to open this third eye vision for you more and more. Being empowered, being having trust in yourself. Believing in what you see, hear, feel, in the messages, right? Some of you are very gifted in ancestral healing. And you are here just for a confirmation. Some of you are doubting that that's it. That's what you are here to do. And if there is something else for you to do, it will be revealed to you. Someone else is a Tantra teacher. Beautiful. With this being said, your reading is coming to an end, pile number three. Thank you very much for being here and see you in my next one. Bye-bye.